Good morning, good morning. Coming to you from Portland, Maine this morning. Oh boy, it has been quite a ride. And what keeps coming to me, this saying uh, from John Kabat-Zinn, who is the, really the modern day father, father of mindfulness, is you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. And that is what I am doing right now. I am surfing. I am surfing change, big change. We're all surfing big change. Some do it better than others. Sometimes we're more graceful. Sometimes we fall, crash, burn. And I am just reminding myself here in this transition in my life, huge transition, that to to, to remember to surf, to remember to find your feet on your board. I've never surfed, so what the hell do I know? But I could imagine, because I've done enough skating, you got to find your feet, you got to find your balance, your equilibrium, and then you allow your body to be soft and agile as the waves churn, as the world spins. So we can't stop the waves from happening, but we can continue to train ourselves to surf them to be light, to be flexible, to be open and available for the next crashing wave to come because it will. It definitely will. So what I'm learning here in this just this few days, it's not even a week since I've moved out of my apartment. And I, uh, if you've lef- listened to the past episodes, um, I'm going to be without a home for 10 days and we're planting ourselves here in Maine because our daughter is here in Portland. So what I have to remind myself to do is to is to not hold on too tight to anything, to allow myself to be and to allow life to be, to be more relaxed and less uptight about having to know what's next. So I don't want to make this about me, but I do want to use my current experience to support you in doing the same, to recognize that that life is spinning. There's so much unknown. As I come to you here at the mid to end of October uh, in this 2020 year with so much unrest, uncertainty, so much volatility, Right, so much ambiguity, if you know the term VUCA, volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity, we have no idea. So if we try to manage each each moment uh, and try to control each moment and try to know what's going to happen in each moment, we will suffer. We will tense, we will contract. And so this Learning to surf is learning to be more pliable and flexible and available and open and allow the waves to come and go, allow the thoughts to come and go, the fear to come and go. The end of this week on Friday, we're going to do a practice called sky gazing, and it's really a a fantastic practice to recognize the coming and going of thought, clouds, weather, emotion. And that is this this sense of being very malleable and very available to whatever the waves are like today, whatever the surf is like today, however your body mind feels today to not hold on too tight to making sure things happen in a certain way because that causes us tremendous stress, tremendous stress. And I have experienced that in my life. So we cannot stop the waves, but we can learn to surf. A couple of things that have helped me tremendously in learning to surf are are my body practices, my brain practices, and in my mental wellness protocol that I take every day that keeps my 
my neurochemistry in check. It keeps my equilibrium down at the root system of my microbiome balanced. I would love to share those with you. These podcasts are short. I often can't get to them, but I want to open up my life to you so that if I can help in any small way, I will, I will have done my part as a human in this world in 2020. So if you are interested in knowing and understanding what my daily practices and daily protocol are, you just reach out to me, Kara at karabradley.net or on DM me on social media. Plenty of you have. I love hearing from you. And I will share with you my body practices, which have become much more consistent. I'm so happy about that. I feel so much better just even in the last week. My brain practices, my mind, mental, mental practices, and the practices and the protocol that I've been taking to neutralize, equalize, and optimize my root systems, including my microbiome, my nervous system, and my immune system. And this is what is going to help carry me through these next six months of uncertainty as I, as I move my physical space and, and live in a, in a new world as we all are, and also just the uncertainty of where I'm going to be living long term. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for listening. I am so grateful for you every day for, for the comments, the questions, the engagement, and just knowing that you're out there. Have a fantastic day. Be well.